bioluminescence is the ability of a plant or animal to glow. Bioluminescence is very common in sea creatures, yet it's apparently much rarer on land. It's also far more common in smaller, simpler organisms. The so-called higher organisms rarely produce significant amounts of bioluminescence. Some have been known to use other organisms to create a glow for them. So two basic questions that spring to mind about bioluminescence. How do these living organisms glow and why do they glow? Probably best to look at the second question first. There are lots of different advantages being to be able to glow on demand. First reason relates to survival. Having a glow appear in different parts of the body could confuse a predator. Make the predator unsure exactly where precisely the prey is and also what it is. Additionally, whilst close up, the light may appear to highlight where something is. From a distance, small scattered lights on the body can mask the outline of the shape, make it blend into the background. With the dim lights on an object, there's no hard edge to compare the shape of the body with the dimly lit surroundings. At the other end of the spectrum, so to speak, a predator can use a small glowing light to attract their prey, like some deep sea anglerfish luring their plane towards their mouth. Here the anglerfish itself though doesn't directly produce the glow, instead uses specialist bacteria living in the lure. These bacteria are in a symbiotic relationship with the fish, responsible for producing the light needed to attract the prey. The most well-known form of bioluminescence on land involves fireflies, or similar insects, who light up the dark night with their small flashing lights. In their case, the lights are used to attract a mate. Light signals that they're fit to mate and where in the vast dark night they are, allowing a partner to select a compatible mate a considerable distance away in the dark. Now, in addition to these major functions, some species may use violet luminescence for warning off potential predators, communicating with other members of the same species, or even illuminating their own prey in the dark. This leaves us then with the question, how are they creating the glow? To which the simple answer is chemistry. The precise chemicals that are used vary considerably. It appears that bioluminescence has evolved separately a great many times in a range of different species. The general chemical reaction, however, normally involves a chemical group called luciferase. These are oxidative enzymes, and their name derives from the Latin lucifer, meaning light bringer. Similar to in aerobic respiration, when some specific chemicals can be combined with oxygen, they produce another set of chemicals on water, which releases energy to move muscles or do similar work. In the process of bioluminescence, again, you have a specific set of chemicals plus oxygen, producing a new set of chemicals plus water. But additionally, this time the reaction releases virtually all of the energy in the form of visible light, making it far more efficient than any standard light bulb. It led a number of engineers to consider if there could be a practical way to harness the power of bioluminescence.